All right, this is just a little clip. This is some things I do. As I'm traveling through, I wasn't even playing on, I was just kind of looking around, not even sure if I was gonna stop and fish. I just stopped and caught a little spotted bass. No camera on, no nothing. Fish about three more minutes and I get this small mouth. Traveling through, found a river in Arkansas. Nice small mouth bass. That's like a pound and a half, almost. Holy cow, just got him on the hugger mite. Fishing this little river. I saw this little calm pocket. Pulled over here, I had stretched my legs a little bit anyways. I figured there'd be some fish pushed up in this little calm area. <laughs> what a cool catch. I gotta find some place on this river. I just came upstream a little bit to look and I pulled in this place, it looked perfect. It says private property. It's like this nice little parking area and it says no trespassing and no parking. Man, it looks good. So I'm working to work our way up river and also I like going up river, it gets a little narrower and the water should be, you know, less less creeks flowing into it. So it'll be a little, uh, hopefully a little calmer, but it looks nice. I think, I think we can find somewhere where we can do some fishing in this river today. Okay, so I found it. So yeah, there's this old swinging bridge here. Man, that thing is old. Uh, goes across right there. But the river's still a little bit big here. I'd like to find a little smaller. So I think I'm gonna keep moving upstream. I got a spot marked. Uh, this is just an exploring day and hopefully some fishing involved. I may have went a little too far upstream. It uh, It's like a little creek now. Ooh, it's actually kind of, it's got some deeper channels than I thought. Wow, it's clear though. That is some nice looking water. Ooh, look at that little depot right there. Well, I found the place back downstream. I decided to park in a place full of tadpoles. It's like a little pull off on the side of the road. And there's like so many tadpoles in it. It looks like it would dry right up. I don't know see how there's all these tadpoles in here. Now this is a fishy looking place. A little windy out today. And the clouds got came over for just a minute, then they blew on by. So it's it's in the 70s, nice warm day. Pretty warm anyways. And let's see how cold this water is. Mm, a little chilly. Not too bad, pretty clear. This bank over here looks really good. So yeah, yeah, this looks like a good fishing spot. Fish, there's a fish. Oh no, that was a good fish. Oh, 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 come on, come on. There's a fish. Yes. Yes, yes. And yeah, it's a little small mouth. <laughs> Man, oh my, look at the belly on that one. Dude, this, this makes my day, it makes my, I don't know, any, any, this is like the most fun thing. Whenever I can come across a new area and find fish right away, and on top of that be smallmouth bass. Ooh. That one's stuffed. Oh, okay. All right, it's back in. I thought I had a miss right there. Put it right back in there. Got one. There's a little current coming in, and I'm just fishing the little calm right off the side of it up front. It's actually kind of deep right here. It's uh, probably three, four foot deep out there. It's just a little murky. I bet the water gets clear, but. I know they had some rain here and oh, I thought I had another hit right there. Oh, oh, come on. Got it. I thought there might be a couple of them in here. What is this? Oh, wow, I hooked him weird. I don't know how I got him like that. He was nibbling at it. Just a smaller one. It's two small mouths in less than 10 minutes out of this spot. There he is. Kept getting a bite. Oh, the rock bass. That figures. I, kept, I threw it over a few times. There would be something off that little break right there. Wow, that almost looks like a shadow bass. 
That might be a shadow bass. Let me take a picture of it. And the more I look at it, it might be a shadow bass. It's got black eyes, got a blotchy body. Put him back in there. This has been a really good stop right here. It looks like it's a few feet deep right there. And we got some calm water that's swirling just a little bit. Just dropped something in there. And there should, oh, I missed it. There was a bite. There should be something ready to hit it. Could be a little fish, could be a big one. Let's try that again. Sometimes a few of them. But usually there's something there. Got it. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a good fish. Yes, yes. Oh, it might not be as big as I thought, but it's a good, look at him swimming upstream at me. This thing's got power. Oh, that's a beefy smallmouth. Nice. Exactly where he should be. That's all his fun. When you're kayaking rivers, you, you're only getting one or two casts sometimes of these spots, and you can't slow it down. That is a good smallmouth. I'll take a little pounder. A chunky little guy. Got it, got it. There's another one. Had to get the drift just right. I was just watching my line as it was drifting until the line just stopped. And then I figured there'd be something on it. Never felt the tug, but I just saw my line stop. And I knew that something had grabbed it or it was hung up, which with I'm trying to do it weedless, so usually something's gonna grab it. Pretty, these, these little darker looking, I feel like every one I catch is a little bit different looking. I'm running out of calm places to find. I know those fish are in more spots than just the calm. They're out here under the current, behind boulders. That's the one sometimes are hard to get to. So I may have to leave and look for another spot to fish. Yes, that's a fish. That's a good fish. Right in the current. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, dude, I found some other ones. Wow. The power. Oh, that's a nice one. Yes. I'll take that guy. Thank you for not quitting. I came down through here. I tried to explain things because I know people were interested. And I'm not, don't have to listen to everything I say. Sometimes I might talk too much, but I get excited whenever I, whenever I, I something works out that I have an idea. Dude, that's a nice fish. But there's a deep current right through here. I tried fishing over there, couldn't get it to settle. Went down that way, couldn't find anything. Came back up here and I'm like, let me make a few good casts into this current. Like let it drift down in there. Missed one. Threw back in there a couple times and got one. Man, nice. I'm glad that worked out. That was that was really cool. All right, I just took a little drive downstream to find another uh, road down to the river. This is actually a creek that feeds into the river. But um, I'm just gonna walk the creek just down just a little ways to the mouth of the river and fish it. It should be a pretty little bit bigger area. And um, I think I can get a few more fish. This place is too good to leave. Just to only fish it for like, an hour. I've only fished for like an hour so far. So I gotta do some more investigating. Oh, oh wow, that's a good fish. <laughs> oh, that's a solid smallie. I th he must have swiped at my crankbait a couple times. I thought I saw something a little bit bigger. I didn't think he's gonna be that good. That's a good fish. He's up, just hanging out in this little pool here, eating everything in there probably. <laughs> nice little fish there. Got my little leech on the 
back right there. Ugh. Hold on, little creek smile. All right, we got just a little ways down. We got the river, creek flowing in. I'm just gonna try to find a few holes to fish and find some little deep holes or for some current breaks. There's one, there's one. Oh yeah. Right in front of me. Dude, that's a nice one. Well, here, like I said, I came down the creek. Here's the creek mouth. There's the river. And it's all flow. Everything's flowing strong. I can't find any current breaks. I'm like, I don't even know where to fish. Got a little ripples right here. Just a little bit of a deep pocket. Just dropped it in there. And he was down there. He was at the bottom though. These, that's where I've been finding them though. Most of them been at the bottom, just sitting in there waiting for some food. Well, I decided to downsize and downsize I did. We got six foot ultralight, a couple of little uh, piece of Viper X, two pound mono, and a little bitty, uh, I think it's a 164 ounce jig head. So we're going small. I saw a bunch of sunfish over here in this little pocket and um, I'm gonna go try to catch a bunch. With this little lure, you gotta get out of the current for sure. So we need to find a little calm pocket like that where we can just let it sink. And hopefully those little fish are, oh, I'm on already. And like I said, they are in there. Yes, they're long ear. Oh, they're beautiful ones too. Those are cool. I don't catch a lot along near me. I have to go to certain places where they are, but um, as you go, they're not i don't know if they're even that much more east but as you come west a little bit from tennessee middle tennessee over there's tons of them oh man they're over there i found up the little spot right off that bridge they're just as that thing sinks they're coming up and just hammering it all right Oh, 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 I got a solid little fish. Did it come off? No, he's still on there, he's still on there. I got a little smally. Oh, cool. I had to upsize, I, I, I changed. I was throwing that little lure. I wasn't getting no bites. Switched to this little, uh, the tiny little re rebel crawl and got a small mouth. That's a nice little small mouth out of there. Well, first cast with a little crawl in that little hole. I'm gonna have to hit that other hole back over there again and see if there's something a little bit bigger in there they didn't hit. Oh, 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 fish on. We'll get maybe one more in here before it gets, starts raining. And we got us a tiny little long ear. There we go, that's it. Let me get one more giant in. <laughs> How these things hit it, that lure. They, uh, that's why I love long ears, they're really cool. They're just, they're so aggressive. It's like they hit bigger lures, they'll hit it before they'll hit a smaller lure. Well, this was a spur of the moment, as they say, uh, fishing trip, and that's uh, I do a lot, especially as I'm traveling. I'm on my way back to Tennessee, I just, I was in Oklahoma this morning, I'm coming through Arkansas. Uh, just kind of saw a river, decided to pull over and just kind of take a look at it. And caught that, I caught two fish in five minutes and one of them was a nice smallmouth, probably the biggest one of the day. And then I fished three three hours or so, a uh, couple different public access points, um, didn't go really far either way and just was able to catch some fish and then have fun, enjoy it. And um, you know, not everybody has access to a place like this, but. We have way much more than um, 
than we think, especially in America. We got so many national parks and forests and places that, that we can just get out there and enjoy. And um, we're, we're free to be able to do that. And I thank the Lord for uh, for our liberty and for freedom we have. And um, thankful to live in America. I know the other countries are they're great in other countries too. And there's probably a lot of people watching from other countries that have some good stuff and have great things. But I'm thankful that I get to live around here and get to travel around and fish and can go where I want and fish where I want. But uh, I, I'm actually on my way back. Hopefully I'll be back by tomorrow. I got a lot of editing to do. What it, like right now, I, ha I probably have 10 videos that I need to edit to, to put out there. So this one's I'm May the 5th, I think, or something like that. I don't remember. And uh, so you might not see this for, for a couple weeks or something like that. But it's a pretty cool little trip. And I uh, wasn't really even planning on fishing today. I was kind of like, I'm just going to travel. And then, you know, this is what happened. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it.